I am here in front of the largest cyclotron in the world. Uh, if you're interested in anything from material science to particle physics to studying supernovae, this is the place to be. Uh, and I'm here with uh, Executive Director Nigel Smith, who's going to show us around. Hi, welcome Darius. Thank you. So I guess first question, what is a cyclotron? So a cyclotron is a particle accelerator. So it takes hydrogen ions and accelerates them to very high speed. We can smash them into targets to create other elements that we can then study the nuclear reactions in supernovae or the way that the stars burn, or we can smash them into targets to create medical isotopes, or we can use them as probes to study material science. And so there's a variety of things that we can do with them. Let's back up for a second. This is the inside of the cyclotron. Once protons, those red dots, are injected, an electric field forces them to travel around inside, accelerating to three quarters the speed of light before releasing them in a beam to smash into an external target. How is that possible? Well, right here in Vancouver, at the heart of the Triumph facility, is the largest cyclotron on the planet and the Guinness World Record to prove it. The core of the complex is the cyclotron, uh, which is shown here. And uh, this is what we're on top of right now. This is where the, uh, the hydrogen ions get accelerated uh, to, to high energy and then stripped uh, of their electron, made into protons, and then sent down the beam lines. And what you can see coming off the cyclotron, these are what we, we call beam lines. So this is beam line one, and it goes down to a variety of target stations. So all of the other beam lines that come off come out from target stations where you create different um, either different uh, nuclei or different um, uh, types of particles. And those particles are then taken off, steered into uh, science experiments to look at material science and things like that. That might all seem pretty conceptual, but the results are very real. Scientists at Triumph use these beams for research, like mimicking space radiation to test computer chips that might blast off on the next mission, and for practical applications, like generating the radioactive compounds used in medical imaging. Nigel also told me that right here in the facility, the cyclotron was once used to treat ocular melanoma, a type of eye cancer. You would have a low energy beam of protons coming off the machine, and basically you fire that into somebody's eye, and obviously it's, you know, it's not that straightforward. You have to make sure that you're putting it into the right place. But the benefit then is that the, the protons stop in the eye, destroy the cancer, destroy the melanoma, and don't penetrate into the brain. I know it's a cancer treatment, but is it bad that I want to get protons shot into my eye? <laughs> I really want to get protons shot into my eye now. <laughs> yes, that is bad. So we know what the cyclotron looks like, how it works and what it can do, but what's going on behind the scenes? Next, Nigel took me down into the control room where the buttons are pushed and at least two or three very smart people are keeping their eyes on all those screens at all times. So what people will be doing is setting up the machine for the various experiments. So this is the main driver control room where we run the 520 MeV cyclotron. And so the operators are setting up the conditions to make sure we're extracting beam down the right beam line, down the right pipe to the, to the experiment area and pulling it off at the right energy that the, the experimenters want. So this is the core of that operational component where they're making sure everything is running smoothly. Now, the world record holding 520 MeV cyclotron may be the heart of the facility, but it's just one of the particle accelerators housed here. And it's really the experiments they feed that set Triumph apart. Projects like Heracles, Titan, and Dragon, which are shining examples of how Triumph researchers are seeking to unlock the mysteries of our universe. And sir, can you just say one more time, what does Griffin stand for? And how much scientists like to have fun with acronyms. Griffin is a convenient acronym for uh, one of the experiments here at Triumph. Uh, here, it's a, essentially a gamma ray spectroscopy experiment. So kind of like uh, the camera your dentist uses x-rays to create an image, we're using gamma rays from decaying short-lived isotopes to create a spectrum uh, of energy that, that uses both uh, information about the geometry of these, uh, these gamma rays as well as their energies to create a profile, a gamma ray spectrum, uh, which provides us insight into how those protons and neutrons bind together within the nucleus. This is really interesting to us because uh, these forces that hold protons and neutrons together have impact for how elements form within stars, how stars create these elements that make up the world around us, and uh, for instance, how the universe came to be in the first place. 
So Darius, some pretty cool stuff. I could see the inner scientist in you just really lighting <laughs> up, being able to uh, check that out. What, what were some of the main takeaways for you? Yeah, I've been looking forward to that for months. Mm -hmm. uh, it was amazing. Like that last thing that he said there, how the universe came to be, like these are very big things that don't sound like you get an answer from somewhere like right here in the city. Uh, but I can say for sure that we're closer than we would be than uh, if we didn't have Triumph or other particle accelerators like it. Mm -hmm. But there's also very practical applications like uh, Triumph produces nuclear isotopes used for medical imaging like PET scans. Uh, and what they can do is actually send those isotopes that they produce directly in a tube underground a couple kilometers right to the UBC hospital where they use them for that medical imaging. So if oh, you've wow. ever gotten a scan done at UBC hospital, mm -hmm. the uh, isotopes very well might have come from Triumph, which is really cool as well. Uh, so all kinds of really amazing things. And then just so many fun facts, and you know how much I love fun facts. Uh, <laughs> when we said that they accelerate protons to three quarters the speed of light, that happens in less than a third of a millisecond. So this is, they can do a lot of stuff with this machine. It's running all the time. Tough to wrap our minds around that. Thank you so much, and I'm glad you got to experience that. Thank you.